Good evening, everybody. This is Jeremy from Survival Showcase, and tonight we are taking a look at Bushnell's Elite Tactical ERS 3.5 to 21 by 50 millimeter long range precision scope. One of the neatest features about this scope is its overall length. It's just over 13 inches at 13.2 inches long. Uh, it has a 34 millimeter tube, has locking turrets, and a zero stop on the uh, turrets. It features the G2 reticle and it is a first focal plane scope. I really do like the overall look of this scope. The flat dark earth looks really neat. Uh, I haven't had anything in a flat dark earth before, but this one here is uh, pretty neat looking. Um, I, I like the design features, it has a focus on the end and the, uh, the magnification where it's located is pretty handy. The turrets are pretty big and that would be my one con about this scope is it is kind of bulky compared to my Weaver 3 to 15 but some of that is due to the fact that this is a 34 millimeter tube scope and not a 30 millimeter but still the turrets are on the large side I think they could be scaled down a bit and that would be quite nice so starting at the end of the scope we have our focus adjustment here on the end and then moving up we have our magnification adjustment ring and then up here we have our elevation turret and these turrets are lockable turrets you just pull up so that you can turn and push down to lock and it's the same with the windage on the side you pull it out to turn it and then you push it in to lock it uh, the parallax on the side it is in a nice spot and it is very easy to adjust it is a 50 millimeter bell on the front and the tube body is 34 millimeter uh, the ring at the front, it just simply says Elite to mark that this is out of the Elite Tactical Series. In this short clip here, I just wanted to demonstrate how easy the uh, controls move. It has been my experience in the past that some of the Bushnell scopes had uh, parallax that wasn't uh, that easy to manipulate, uh, specifically when it's located on the bell. Uh, this being a side focus parallax, very, very easily to turn. As you can see, I'm just using two fingers there to turn it around and it moves very smoothly. And that went for the rest of the controls on the scope. They moved very easily without any hang-ups or anything like that. Very easily to move. Here I'm demonstrating how the first focal plane scopes work. When you increase magnification, the grid lines inside on the reticle get larger. And as you decrease the magnification, they will get smaller. And that's to keep your uh, range estimations uh, so that they can work out accurate and your math will work at any magnification level. On second focal plane scopes, they only have one magnification that you'll be able to use to get your uh, range estimations. Like most of Bushnell's optics, this comes with your fully multi-coated uh, lenses. Uh, they also feature the RingGuard HD, which simply allows uh, any moisture or rain that gets on that lens to bead off of there and go right to the edge of the lens so it doesn't obstruct your view. And these are ultra wide band coating on these lenses as well. And the scope uh, body is uh, argon purged. What the argon purging does for the uh, optic is it prevents internal fogging so that you don't get uh, moisture on the inside of your scope preventing you from uh, getting a clear view through the optics. My overall thoughts on this scope is that this would be a really good choice for somebody who wants to shoot long range. Uh, the 6.5 Creedmoor is a really hot caliber right now and it would probably be really well suited on top of like a Ruger Precision or the uh, Weatherby uh, chassis gun that they have going to now. Uh, hunting wise uh, I don't think it would be my first choice just because it is a little bulky and it weighs a bit but uh, definitely long range shooting I think it'd be a hit. 